physics teacher. Um, well said. Um, the names you see here on the screen uh, represent Wall Lake Central. It's who we are, it's what we do, and it's what we're about. Collectively, our individual talents and efforts and skills go into a greater cause fulfilling our mission. And we hope that you've just had a glimpse and an opportunity to see who we are and what we're about. You know, Rick Warren wrote a book, it's, it's called The Purpose Driven Life, and I had a, happened to get a copy of it, New York Times bestseller for over a year now, 20 some million copies in print, and it was really the question, what's your purpose in life? And, that was, and he went on to try to explain what he felt people's purpose was. And I hope that uh, as we sit and reflect about what our purpose is and about what our mission is, I, I hope we can answer that question. I think we can answer that question, and I believe we can answer that question. You see, because everyone in this room makes an impact and makes a difference in the lives of students. I mean, I can't think of any higher calling. I can't think of any higher purpose, and I can't think of any higher reward than that mission right there. You see, when students do well academically, it's because of you. When students grow in maturity and responsibility, it's because of you. When students grow physically and get bigger and faster, stronger, it's because of you folks. When our teams and our clubs and our students have success, it's because of you folks. When a student gets an A on the test for the first time who's been struggling and, and you've inspired them to make the effort and try to achieve, it's because of you. When students have sorrow or tragedy in their lives and they feel like their life is in turmoil and conflict and pain and they're not sure who they turn to, they come to school and they talk to you. When our students uh, have problems in their lives and uh, as part of growing up as teenagers, they come to you. As students do well in all of the subjects, the world languages and business and the fine and performing arts and the core math and science and social studies, it's because of you. When students can come here to a school in this day and age and feel safe and secure, and they don't feel like their lives would be threatened, both physically and mentally, it's because of your efforts. When our students come here and they have a clean facility and they have a place that is in good working order and nice condition, it's because of you. When our students have the right information and communication sent home and the forms and the process to make sure that they have the classes they want and they're successful in those regards, it's because of you. When our students have a place to park and they know that they park their vehicles here and that their vehicle is going to be secure in this parking lot, it's because of you. When our students achieve their dreams and aspire to higher things and their aspirations and fulfill their goals, it's because of you folks. And so it's my hope as we conclude our second annual Ike Awards here tonight that we just pause for an hour of this school year and we just sit back and just realize that some way, somehow, we have all made a difference in someone's life. And so it's my hope and it's my, my desire and my dreams that the, if the question was asked, what's your purpose in life? I can say with every bit of confidence that it's fulfilling the Wald Lake Central mission in the lives of young people. You see, we have a great privilege and we have a great responsibility in our society in terms of, of propagating the values and the academic standards to ensure success in terms of what's, what our future is going to be like as a country and as a nation and as a world. Tremendous responsibility. In fact, I think it's the greatest calling that anybody could have is to work in education. Now, I know we're not entertainers and musicians and singers, and we're not in the Hollywood industry, and our society may place a greater value on that. I know we're not uh, mechanical engineers designing parts for automobiles or the mechanical things that are in our lives. I know we're not selling and buying stocks and carrying on the world's business affairs. I, not, I know we're not performing surgeries, working in the medical field. I know we're not in courts doing litigation and business transactions and dealings. 
But I can tell you that what we do is far greater than any of those and far superior um, in terms of making a difference in young people's lives. And so as we wrap up the Second Annual Ike Awards, it, it, it would behoove us to just uh, take a moment and uh, thank our sponsors, Herf Jones and North Bay Audio, for their technical support. And uh, we'd also like to thank our tech crew. Um, We have Kelly and Davida and the cameras and Eric Handorf and Matt Weber up in the booth and, and um, Grant uh, Lobby. Uh, a lot of people put in a lot of time, effort, and energy to carry on this ceremony and uh, awards. And so, uh, gentlemen and ladies, we, we appreciate your efforts with that. So we'd like to conclude as we wrap up our ceremony here. We'd just like to thank the viewing audience for their, for their uh, watching the show. Uh, we hope as, as we wrap up the show that we just give you a glimpse of what we do every day, just everyday business for us. And so thank you, and have a great afternoon.